No politics involved in emergency decree extension. Well, at least that's what he said. This is what to know by Voice Online. I'm Josh Alwit reporting. Let's get right into it. The cabinet officially agreed with suggestion from the Center for the COVID-19 Situation Administration, or CCSA, to keep emergency decree enforced. Thailand will still be under the decree until the end of June, despite the CCSA daily reports one digit or zero new cases in the past weeks. Also, the whole country will still face the nighttime curfew, which will ease to fewer hours at night. Deputy Prime Minister General Prawit Wongsuwan confirmed with the press that this is all for preventing Thailand from facing the second wave of COVID-19 infection. He also confirmed that there is nothing to do with politics. However, many Thai people, critics, and the opposition parties disagree with such extension. As we already know, Thailand's Communicable Disease Act alone can cover the whole measures being imposed right now to prevent Thailand from facing the spread of the virus. Enforcing the emergency decree and extending it at this point only makes the people feel like there's a hidden agenda behind the government's plan. Anuson Iam Saad, spokesperson of opposition Pure Thai Party, commented that the Thai government is now being lost and confused. They are doing things that they should not be doing right now. For example, debating on how to adjust the curfew time, using the one or two digit number of new cases in Thailand as an excuse to stop the whole country from living their lives, and allowing malls to reopen while schools must stay closed. Also, they have been abandoning the very things that should be put as first priority, which is easing lockdown restriction and allowing people and economic activities to resume. He added that the government is basically having three main problems on its plate: COVID-19 crisis, economic crisis, and political crisis. Their most important job right now is to keep balance between public health, freedom, and economy issues. If the government keeps on enforcing the decree and curfew, they might face a serious backlash from the public. So, extending the decree and curfew will only make the crippled economic situation worse. Which is now considered as 10 times worse than the Tom Yam Gung financial crisis in 1997. Meanwhile, today marks the first day of the three-day parliamentary debate on the three executive decrees on 1.9 trillion baht loan that Thai government is seeking. Sutin Klang Sang, leader of the opposition whip, said what concerned him and the opposition party was the unclear plan of how the government would be spending the 1.9 trillion baht loan to cushion Thai economy. He added that if the Thai government failed to explain its plan, the opposition parties could not help but to not approve of the decrease. Also, the leader of the opposition whip mentioned that allowing the Bank of Thailand to issue bonds to increase liquidity for the private sector can cause the lack of fairness. Thai commercial banks are able enough to conduct this process in helping businesses in Thailand. There's no need for the Bank of Thailand to get involved. Another concern raised by the opposition is the three-day time frame of the debate. It is obviously too short, especially with the nighttime curfew still being enforced. That means the parliamentary debate will start at 9.30 a.m. until 8 p.m. during these three days. It is clearly difficult to manage everyone to be there by 9.30 a.m. If anyone is late, the debate must finish later than 8 p.m. as 10 hours and 30 minutes is required for each day of the debate. Responding to the concerns, the Prime Minister General Prayut Chan Ocha said in the weekly cabinet meeting that the objectives of seeking the 1.9 trillion baht loan has been planned out thoroughly. There would be carefully considered multiple times by a group of special committee. The Prime Minister also confirmed that details of all the projects would be uploaded into the open data system so the public could keep their eyes on what the government is doing. As for the extension of the emergency decree, the Prime Minister said that the government put the public's best interests as first priority all along since the beginning of the lockdown imposition. No politics ever been involved? He also said that the Communicable Disease Act alone is not enough in coping with the crisis. That is why the emergency decree is needed. 
This is what to know by Voice Online. I'm Joe Shalowit reporting. Please click like, share, subscribe, and leave your comments below. Thank you so much for watching. Keep safe, and I'll see you next time.